Hello, welcome to my tech fan. My name is Igor, and in this video, I'm testing uh, Air Assist uh, Kit by the Atom Stack, and this box is sent to me by the Banggood in exchange for a review. If you're not familiar, uh, I already tested some Air Assist uh, solutions on this channel, and in my experience, it helps with the cutting a lot, but in the engraving, we will get actually worse results. So far, I tested with the vacuum cleaner and also with some uh, fish tank air pump. And the uh, big advantage of this pack compared to the, uh, that uh, fish tank air pump is that it arrives with the different adapters for the module, for the nozzle. And also it is adjustable, so I can set the airflow rate between 10 and 30 liters per minute. And I'm just curious if I will reduce it to 10, maybe if it will help uh, with the engraving too. Up at the laser engravers. Now the only Atom Stack laser engraver which I have is uh, this uh, version, the P9, but I also have a Perger, uh, and if you take a closer look, uh, this is the Perger laser from S10, you will notice a lot of similarities, uh, and the reason for that this is basically some kind of Atom Stack rebrand. Same inboard box with the screen, and if you take a closer look of the laser module, you will see that uh, this is Atomstack, so they didn't even change the sticker on it. According to the website, this kit is compatible with almost every Atomstack laser module, and uh, I will mount it uh, here because this structure has the more stability, and I'm curious uh, will it improve uh, the engraving tool or only the cutting. So let's see what's in the box. Pipe. The length is approximately 2 meters. User manual. Tools, screws, zip ties, and uh, maybe on the sticker, these are some kind of legs. There are adapters for different nozzles. New protection glass, and here we have the space for the pipe. Power cable with correct plug for the EU. The output is 12 volts, 3 amperes. This means 36 watts. Another adapter for the nozzle, so we have three. And this is that pump. Here goes the power in. And we have this uh, button for adjusting from, it's also a switch and you can adjust the power. And other side, you can see the exit for the pipe. It basically, looks like we have three or maybe even four uh, protection glasses with the holes for the pipe. So definitely, this is really useful with a lot of different uh, atom stack modules. And the box is empty. There are instructions for the older version of the atom stack, and this is for the newer one. And my is S10. First I will start with the removing of the module because it will be easier to show into the camera. Maybe I can remove the cable too. First I have to remove this protection glass and I can do it with removing this uh, set screw. Next is removing this protection around the laser and for this I need 2 meter Allen key which is not included in the kit so I'm using my own. And according to the manual I'm using the air assist nozzle number 1. I'm not sure why they provide the two pieces, they look equal. And now we use the same two screws to fix the position here on the back side. I'm inserting the tube and just slightly push it until it's uh, completely up. The pressure is not big so this should hold the position. And according to instructions I will install this number 1-2 protection glass. And I will lock its position with the set screw on the side, but be careful, don't tie this too much. And it's ready. I'm sliding the module back to its position. 
Now, according to instruction, I have to pay attention to the path of this pipe because if it is uh, in broken position, it will prevent the flowing of the air because the pressure is small. So somehow I will maybe zip to tie to this cable holder or something like that. Now let's glue these legs to the air pump. And these are rubber legs. Let's plug in the power. And the pipe. And now let's measure the noise from 30 cm distance. Approximately 68 decibels, but for the feeling it is not too loud compared to the vacuum cleaner, for example, or real compressor. What is interesting is that it doesn't vibrate too much. If you watch my video about that uh, fish tank air pump, basically it started to walk on the desk, so I have to lock its position, but this one stays on place. Let's compare its power to the fish tank air pump. This is the same bottle I used in that video. Definitely much weaker to that uh, fish tank air pump. Uh, we will see is this enough or not. Oh, I have to show you this. Uh, I tested the compressor and I placed back this glass and that's why I told you to be very gentle with this set screw because this glass is very breakable. And when I place it back approximately after one minute it just broke. So instead of two air nozzles they should send two glasses because this is much more breakable than uh, these nozzles. Solution for the atom sec, or maybe uh, my advice to you if you want to DIY, uh, create a smaller hole and much lower. In that case uh, you will not push the set screw here, but here when uh, it is in one piece. Pressing here it bends a little bit and it broke easily. Now let's try to find some path for this pipe and to prevent uh, its breaking. Okay, so it is still blowing, it works fine. I didn't broke the line of the pipe. Let's set the focus to the surface. So my first experiment will be engraving a plywood, first uh, without air assist and then with air assist and to see is there any difference. For me it is not too big problem that this glass is broken because I have uh, my safety glasses. I will start with engraving in offline mode. I prepared and copied the NC code to this TF card. And I will just run the code from the screen. And this just confirmed what I already experienced earlier. So this was engraved without error and this with error. And uh, the difference is not too big, but this one is much cleaner. And now let's see the cutting. Let's set the focus on 200 mm per minute. Well, this time definitely I can see the differences. So this was cotton without air assist and this with air assist and this is completely clean. There are no burn edges now and this was cotton in 200 mm per minute. I will show you the other side of the cuttings. Even the other side is much cleaner. I will show you uh, this one too. And I will repeat this now with 100 millimeters per minute uh, because here I had to push a little bit to fall out. And with 100 millimeters per minute, probably we will see more burned edges and much cleaner with the air assist. Let's do it. So this was the cutting of 200 millimeters per minute 
and this one 100 million petals per minute. Without air assist and with air assist and definitely I can see much more burn edges here and even on the cutting out part and this edge is much cleaner. And now the conclusions. Well, as I expected for the engraving, you don't need an air assist, you will get actually worse results. But for the cutting, yes, definitely this will help to get uh, very nice and uh, sharp edges. And even if it is not so strong like that air pump I tested uh, a few months ago, uh, but it, it will do the job and uh, even we, if we cut, uh, I don't know, plywood on let's say 100 millimeters per minute, uh, usually I get some kind of flames using the 10 watt laser module. Uh, but uh, with air assist the, those flames will be uh, prevented, reduced and actually even in that case I will get very nice and uh, sharp edges on the cutting. It has some other advantages compared to that uh, air pump. It has the switch on it with, uh, which is adjusting actually but I will always use it on the maximum power and uh, it doesn't vibrate so, to so much and it's much quieter. So basically that air pump I have to lock somehow its position on the desk but here it stays in a position without any problems. And of course another advantage that it arrived with those uh, kits to uh, mount it for the laser model so with different uh, air nozzles. Now one thing uh, in just in case if you skip that part in the video, be careful if you are using the set screw with this uh, new glass because the position of the set screw is uh, on a higher position and uh, you may uh, start easily bending that glass and it will break like did in my case. Uh, but I, I know about this problem, but uh, even it happened to me. So the solution would be, I know if you are not uh, afraid to DIY some holes and uh, taps, uh, do it uh, lower when that glass is in one piece and there you can use that uh, set screw. Or I know you have to figure out some other mounting uh, solutions, but actually this would be the job for the Atom stack. But uh, I'm talking about those laser modules which I already bought earlier. Also pay attention that this pipe is not broken uh, because in that case this pressure is very low and it may stop the flowing of the air. Uh, it would be good if uh, Atom Stack would have some uh, nicer solution for the cable management, maybe some kind of uh, cable chain or something like that. Uh, in that case uh, we don't have to pay attention to that problem too much and also of course you have to pay attention that it is not clinched under these uh, V-slot wheels or belts and similar. So do I recommend this air assist kit by the Atom Stack? Well, if you are cutting a plywood, especially with those stronger uh, laser modules, 5 or even 10 watts, if you want to use the maximal power during the cutting, and you, in that case, let's say you want to reduce the cutting speed, you want to cut something in one pass, definitely yes, because uh, you will get much nicer and cleaner cuttings. And it has a lot of advantages compared to that air pump I tested a few months ago. I will place an affiliate link down in the description to the Banggood uh, website. It, it means it doesn't cost you more, only I will get some small percentage if anybody used that link for the purchase. I hope I could cover the most important things. If I skip something, you know, drop me a line down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy and saving engravings.